Hey guys, welcome to Monday Move where we enhance your asana. Today we are going to be working with Eka Hasta Bhujasana, which is a challenging arm balance. But again, as always, there's variations and modifications that you can use to make it um, accessible in your body. So um, this one is going to be our arms pressing down into the floor while we're in a seated position with a nice deep um, flexion on one side of the hip. So it will be an asymmetrical arm balance. Um, so let's just get to it and have some fun. So I'm going to head over to my mat here. So for this one, like I said, there's going to be some hip mobility needed. So um, some prep stuff that you can um, utilize is um, lizard pose is really good so that would be in a lunge your foot outside let's say we're our left foot's on the outside of our left hand and really just trying to get a nice deep um, flexion of the hip so bending into the elbows really trying to drop your chest not by rounding your upper back but by sinking the hips and keeping your chest lifted and you looking slightly forward. That's a great prep um, for this um, for this pose. Um, if you get if this is comfortable, another great prep um, of added variation to this is to sweep the left hand under your thigh into the outside of your foot to really get a nice. And then you can utilize your arm to increase the stretch a little bit by taking your arm into the back of your calf and just getting a nice connection with the arm and leg there. Okay, so that's a nice little warm up that you can do on both sides because you'll have to do the arm balance on both sides. Another nice one if it's in the morning and you're trying to just, you're still waking up, is just to kind of get into a happy baby pose, whether you're holding the back of your thigh or you can get into happy baby, just really working on getting a nice flexion of the hip. And again, getting both sides in. And when you are warming up, just notice if one side of the body is a little bit more um, available for this pose or not. So when you do actually attempt this arm balance, that you're not surprised that one side's easier and one side's not, that you'll kind of understand that one side might be a little bit more challenging. All right, so now that you got some of those warm-ups in, we're going to come into a seat. Um, so even sitting in a nice tall Dandasana pose um, is a great prep because a lot of times we kind of, you know, so there's this pose, which I call computer desk pose in the spine, where we just let the pelvis drop underneath us. But we really want to be actively lifting those, lifting our sacrum up away from the floor to get that nice neutral curve in our lower back. So just working Dandasana and sitting up nice and tall on your sits bones is a great prep pose as well. Next, we want to bring one knee into our chest. So I'm going to start with the right. And again, so starting to get into that deep hip flexion. Sitting here, holding the knee, maybe this is, and keeping the long spine, maybe this is what you wanna work with for now, keeping this leg anchored onto the floor and just really getting comfortable with the nice flexion of the hip and knee while you're in a nice upright seated position. Okay, next, um, next level up is taking your arm to the inside of your foot and you can even use a strap too to start with. Let's see if I, um, if you have a strap and you're not quite so flexible at the moment, which is okay, you can strap your foot and try to keep that nice long spine. Just extend your foot up and away from you. And then you can even bend your knee, kind of bend your knee like a happy baby, seated happy baby, into the armpit, re-straighten it. Bend into the armpit, re-straighten it. Bend, again, really working with flexion of the hip. 
And this might be what you're working with at the moment, just to get the nice hip flexion and the leg extension and the tall spine. All right. So now, just to keep things balanced, I'm going to switch to the other side. So again, in my left side, is um, I've injured my hips, so it's not as, it gives me more challenges than the left side. So um, just kind of, again, work myself into the hip flexion there. And then we'll just kind of grab the foot. Again, really work on pulling that knee back, but not rounding completely into the spine. So keeping our chest lifted. Pull the knee back, and then maybe you can straighten the leg. Again, you can always use, utilize the strap. Then bend the knee back, straight, and bend. Go one more, straighten, and bend. All right, so all good um, options to work up towards the arm balance. And then, you know, you can always, always attempt the arm balance, but no, these are these variations are areas to note your weaknesses where you need to work on your strength to get into the full pose so we'll work with that now so you're going to pull your knee back maybe grab your foot maybe you have the strap you're going to pull so your your knee is almost behind your shoulder so remember when we were in lizard pose and I had you wrap your arm underneath your thigh? That's what we're going to do here. So you're going to take your shin, but you're going to try and get it up over your upper arm. So this part of your arm, you're going to sweep your leg over your arm and then close your knee to make a good connection. Then you're going to plant that hand. You're going to start to lean forward. You can keep that elbow bent. And now the left hand plants and then press and lift your butt up off the ground and lower down. So again, that's the next level is just pressing through the floor to get the butt up off the ground. Okay. Left side, pull the knee into the chest, grab the foot strap or no strap. And again, just bring that knee back. So then you can take, so you can pull your chest through, sweep your arm underneath your leg, Plant the hand, squeeze your knee, and you kind of, you have to kind of start to lean forward, press into the floor, and now scoop up your lower belly and maybe lift your leg. Lower down. <laughs> that leg lift is that kicker, right? <laughs> so again, core work, hip flexor work, that's the other thing. Another prep pose that you can work with is just sitting in Dandasana and lifting your legs. Not particularly with the tops of your thighs, but think about taking your hip points into your belly. Hip points into your belly. So you're really utilizing the hip flexors and not the quad muscles. So that takes a little understanding to get inside the body, the actual sensation. So let's go one more time. I'll go back to the right side. Pull the knee in. Pull it back with your hand. Drape your arm underneath. Squeeze your knee. Plant your hand. Start to lean forward. Press and lift. Don't forget to breathe. Lower back down. I always like to just take a moment to sit up tall. Again, take a few moments and remind myself how awesome I am and have fun with it. Arm balances are challenging. If you look at every challenge as frustrating and um, a negative thing, again, you're not going to continue with them. So have fun with it, whether you can lift the leg or not, or if you can't get the knee behind or not, that's okay. Maybe this arm balance isn't for you um, or your body. So you work with a different one that does fit your body type a little bit better. If you have any questions or comments or concerns, just shoot me a message and I will get back to you at my earliest convenience. Play around with it, enjoy it, maybe um, shoot me a video or a picture and um, I'll you know, let you know how it looks or if there's anything that I would um, recommend you um, working on a little bit more. I'm always willing to give advice. 
Um, that's why I do this. So enjoy. Have a great rest of your week, and I will see you next Monday. Namaste.